Exiled One Gaming here. I'm going to show you how to hack Hero Line War Starlight. You can see here the glyph I have selected. I don't have it unlocked. I'm not a high enough level to use it, but it is still selected, and I do still get the benefit for it. Uh, you do this by editing the bank files on your local computer. Um, it's just a text file, an XML file, and as you can see here, it does show that I have the glyph. I've tested it. It works. Um, it's just a simple matter of editing a text file, which I'll show you here in just a moment. Uh, the glyphs, if you're wondering how it counts them, they count from zero. So the first glyph is zero, the second glyph is one, etc., etc., etc. So once you figure out which glyph you want, I'll show you where to put that number so you can use it. You, I'm using the program Starbank here to find where my bank files are located. You don't have to do that. Um, you can just come to this path, which you see here in the video. Obviously, you'll have different folder names because your account is different. You go through these folders until you find the one that's called Starlight and Starlight Rewards. And then you edit the Starlight Rewards with Notepad or any text editor. And as you can see here, this key value, there's only one of them in there. And you see the number. That is the number of the selected glyph that you have. So you can change which one is selected even if you don't have it unlocked. If you change it here, you will get it. I have not figured out how to actually unlock all of the glyphs. That's more complicated than this. But if you change that number, and save it in Starlight Rewards, you're good to go. If you don't have Starlight Rewards, the easiest way to get it is just to play the game enough until you unlock at least one glyph. Once you've unlocked one glyph, you should have the Starlight Rewards uh, file. Uh, now you probably want to back up the files too. I, I just create a backup folder and then copy paste them into there before I do anything. Um, you don't really have to if you corrupt these, just delete both of them. Now you will lose your unlocked glyphs though, so that's the, ba the backup would be uh, worth doing. And that's that's all you do. If you liked this or it was helpful, please um, subscribe and like the video. Thanks.